In recent videos and in our interview series with Dr. Katcher, we have talked about a treatment which has reversed the age in rats by over 54%. The link to the paper review and the interview series is above on the screen. At the end of the experiment, the rats were sacrificed, so the question as to whether the treatment would extend the lifespan was not addressed. In fact, there are now two experiments which are being run to verify this. We find these experiments very interesting and would like to share the details in this video. First, let's hear Dr. Katcher explain about the experiments in the interview. Another kind of question. So have you continued to provide, so rats uh, average age was at 3.8, you said maximum age, 3.8 years. Have you continued to provide Elixir and have we got rats older uh, than 3.8? A Belgium, um, what you call it, sponsor, Mm. Uh, named Didier Cornell uh, gave us money, in fact, to start exactly such a, a project where we will keep on giving the rats elixir, returning them to youth as often as is needed to see how long we can keep them alive. Hopefully <laughs> forever, <laughs> but we'll see. The two studies are very similar, so I will look at Dr. Catcher's, except where they are different. The purpose of the studies is to look at longevity of rats after the elixir treatment. In the experiment, they will compare the survival of older rats treated intravenously with young plasma with that of correspondingly aged controls who are untreated. The rats will be 25 months old at the start of the experiment, equivalent to a 50-year-old human. Blood samples will be collected from all animals every other week in order to follow the evolution of epigenetic age over time. Here is the protocol for Dr. Catcher's experiment. 12 sprayed dory rats, which is the same type as used in the original experiment, will be allotted to one of two groups. Either A, the control group of six rats, which will receive no treatment, or B, the experimental group of six rats, which will receive a total of four intravenous injections of 0.7 to 1 milliliter of plasma fraction, codenamed Elixir, a further series of four injections of Elixir will be given every 90 days or as needed, which will be determined by whether inflammatory cytokine levels return to the norms for their age instead of the juvenile levels reached about one month after injections. Here is Dr. Goya's protocol. It is very similar but the number of rats is a bit higher, eight instead of six, and the treatment will be repeated every other week without reference to the blood markers. Here are the measurements for Dr. Katcher's lab. Blood samples will be taken every other week in order to determine epigenetic age during the treatment. They will also determine the levels of interleukin-6 and TNF-alpha, the markers of inflammation, as that is part of the assay for elixir performance. And for Dr. Goya's lab, there will be the same blood tests, and the test for memory and motor performance will also be included, as well as survival curves plotted by, for comparison. The blood samples from the labs will be preserved at low temperature and then shipped to Dr. Horvath for him to determine the epigenetic age of the rats during the experiment. We expect the proposed study will help clarify whether young plasma can extend the lifespan and health span of rats when the treatment starts at an advanced age. And the sponsor has stated that they will publish the results, whether they are positive or negative. The Goya lab has the same key focus and also includes spatial memory performance. We are much looking forward to the results and we do hope they show extended lifespan for rats and can break the longest life, which is now about 3.8 years, or even to see if they can live forever. I hope that you found the video informative. We will continue posting videos daily on the latest news in anti-aging and extending health span. We will also bring experts from around the world to discuss the latest advances in the longevity field. Please do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button and choose all for any new video release notifications. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and we'll speak to you again soon.